on in. What's up? What's good? What's Paul? What's cracking? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? It is your man, Theo Butler, and welcome to a... Yes, exactly. Who is Namor? Episode I ain't he said. I'm just saying. Yeah, I like it. Shout out to you. Look at this idea. I appreciate this one. So, um, before we begin, like, share, subscribe. If you like, leave a constructive comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. If you know me, grow me, share this care. Yeah, hit that like, share, subscribe button. Leave a comment. Help them YouTube. I promise you, I still want to say you with this sweet dream on it up. I promise you, that's what I'm saying. But it really does help the YouTube algorithm. So, y'all see the title. I don't even know how to feel about this one. Cause I, I don't I don't I don't like I don't like being the only one to see it. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Cause after a while y'all gonna start calling me crazy. Except it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. It's right there. Who is Namor? Marvel's subtle programming. I was talking to Mr. Smith today, and uh, we were talking about Namor, and uh, shout out to Mr. Smith, older brother. I run ideas by Mr. Smith. Uh, this is another video that I got um, dedicated to uh, getting to Tyler Cash, Chadwick Bozeman. I did it on Friday. I was reluctant to do it because I got emotional in the video, and I don't, I'm a little... I don't mind being transparent, but I, I think there's a difference between being transparent and bearing your soul. So, um, but probably going to get that video. Mr. Smith is trying to encourage me to get that video out there. But uh, staying on point, Namor, the Brown community, how we feel to introduce Namor into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What's wrong with Roberto da Costa? <laughs> but, uh, so Tanaka Huerta is going to be playing Namor. Is that correct? Why Tanaka Huerta? Because we're talking representation. Inclusion. That's the whole thing that Kevin Feige and Nate Moore have been telling us. And, and there's been a big deal made out of gender swapping and, and race swapping. Well, let's go ahead and talk about race swapping, specifically one Namor McKenzie. <laughs> yeah, see, Namor's father is a Scottish fisherman. His name is Leonard McKenzie. Now, I say that to say this. Hector Ayala also known as the White Tiger, is Hispanic. Hector Ayala and the White Tiger totems he wears around his neck have a loose affiliation with bags. When we talk about representation and we talk about inclusion, shout out to Chillmonger, I like to think that we're talking about correct representation as opposed to token representation. See, Hector Ayala debuted as a Hispanic character. There's no gender swapping. And Hector Ayala goes all the way back to the 70s. Hold on. Because <laughs> I want to help y'all out when y'all talk. I want to talk to my Latin brothers and sisters. The White Tiger. Comics. Let's go back to Hector Ayala. Created by writer Bill Mantlow and artist George Perez in the black and white Marvel magazine. Deadly Hands of Kung Fu in the early 70s. Hector Ayala was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico. He could transform into the superhuman white tiger through the power of the jade tiger amulets around his neck. I actually have his daughter or his niece as an action figure. You can actually go on Hasbro, Pulse, 
Marvel Legends, order the action figure. She's not that expensive. But because I have respect for my Latin brothers and sisters, Before Marvel told you it was in the vogue for people to be represented, I felt like my Latin brothers and sisters needed to be represented point blank period in my action figure collection. Shout out to my man Aaron the Red Ranger because that's the mindset that we have. In my action figure collection, we highlight the people of color. Hispanic, black, Native American, Indian, Islamic, those are actually Asian. Those are actually the characters we go after. Those are the action figures we go after like it's nothing. And because I'm into customizing, I go after the Power Rangers that are the black Power Rangers. Not the black Power Ranger as in that's the color of his costume, but no, the black Power Rangers because they have young teenage heads, sculpts. When you believe in representation, you don't, you don't just talk about it. It's not just a token thing. It's something that you actually, you put your money where your mouth is. Hector Ayala, the white tiger, early 70s, born in San Juan, Puerto Rico. After many years of fighting crime and nearly being killed, having his secret identity publicly exposed by the villainous light master, and becoming psychologically and physically addicted to the tiger amulets, Ayala retired. But after a while, the call to don the amulets and fight evil became too strong, and Hector, come on, the call to don the amulets and fight evil became too strong, and Hector once again became the white tiger. Soon after, Hector was wrongfully accused of murder and convicted, despite the efforts of his lawyer, who's about to make his MCU grand appearance. I know they had him in Spider-Man, No Way Home, but one Matt Murdock, his character has ties to Daredevil. Ayala was shot and killed trying to escape, and shortly before evidence emerged that belatedly proved his innocence. We can rewrite that story, right? If we can introduce Njobu, right? If we can make Fastos gay, right? If we can make Bucky the white wolf, right? We ain't got to kill off Hector. <clears throat> and I know how Marvel gets with colors and everything like that. We already got the white wolf, right? So we don't want to make him the white tiger. What's wrong with the brown tiger? We could have did that, right? But I, I, I got another question for you. Why in name or white? <laughs> See how you just wrote yourself in a corner? Why is it name or white? Atlantean? Scottish fisherman? Correction, he's, he's Scottish he American. America. He's from he's Boston, from Massachusetts. Scotland. What was wrong with that? You don't like that the way that's going to look on film because of what you're planning on doing with T'Challa. So you want to put the brown and black against each other when they don't have to be? Because Namor is white. Half white, half Atlantean. On your shit. On your character. You talk about representation. You talk about inclusion. Hector Ayala could have been played by Tanaka Huerta. Hector Ayala should have been played by Tanaka Huerta. But when I'm looking at my Latin brothers and sisters, if you don't know this, Marvel not going to tell you this. They're not going to give you a character that go all the way back to the early 70s. And if you ain't talking to somebody like me that remember reading them books from back then, that used to go to the newspaper stands back then, if you're looking at your grandfather and you just laughing at him,
See how Marvel get down? You 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 can say Theo, you making too much of this. Yeah, I could. Except when I look on Twitter, I know it's quite a few of my brown brothers and sisters already feeling some type of way. Because while they want their hero, they don't want it at the expense of the black hero. But guess what? To my brown brothers and sisters, they're not giving y'all y'all own hero. They giving y'all their hero. So they ain't got to take the heat from what come from this movie. Think about how this going to play out in the movie theater. I did a video on this last year when they was first talking about Tanaka word to be in Namor. I was like, wow. When black and brown should be coming together, you literally going to have black and brown in the movie theater looking sideways at each other. Yeah, you could say Doom manipulating everything like that, but Doom did that in the comic books. He did. During the Dark Reign storyline, he manipulated stuff going on with Wakanda through Namor. He did that during uh, the, the storyline that I'm reviewing right now, Deadliest of the Species. Doom manipulated that whole damn thing. He white. Namor still Scottish white. Still, still half Scottish. Still half Atlantean. So why are we changing it? Don't tell me it was just to give my brown brothers and sisters their own hero. When they been had their own hero. That hero should think about what I just said. T'Challa debuted in 1966. That's something to be proud of in and of itself. Let's take a look at Hector Ayala. 1975. Let me say that one more time. Hector Ayala debuted in the Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, December 1975, issue number 19. I'm looking at my brothers and sisters, your hero, no different than my hero. Marvel chose to give you their hero. You already got a hero. Ask why they haven't given you your hero. Ask why they trying to pass off their hero to your hero is to avoid the social media conflict that's going to come after that scene play out. I ain't saying I'm just saying, listen, um, shout out to my man D real who believes that entertainment is, is his thing. D I, you know, I, I hope I'm, I'm doing you proud with this entertainment thing and everything like that. Shout out to my man, uh, chill marker. There's a difference between your character. You having a character that represents you and you just having a character that represents you. That definitely is. Shout out to my man Kaizo Slevin. When we talking about be lazy writing and stuff like that, lazy writing. Y'all got y'all on. And 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 I thought enough of it when I started my my action figure collection going strong last year. I thought enough about it last year to get it last year. How long has Marvel Studios been in business? I ain't saying the same. Peace.